Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and our Newcastle United series as we continue our charge towards the top of the table and also in the Champions League where we're top of our very, very difficult group. Um, we're in a pretty good position, just one point off top spot, top spot with everybody else having played five games as well. I'm very satisfied with the start we've made this season because it's been pretty much perfect except for a defeat to Chelsea. Um, today we've got games away against Everton and Atletico Madrid before we take on Middlesbrough at home. They're going to be really tough fixtures and the team going out there today against Everton is made up of Sanabria, Coutrone and Pinamonte. Moise Keane back on the bench but not yet back in the team. Uh, Andre and Fernandez are reunited in midfield because Carmona has recovered at right wing back. Masuaku is at left wing back with Otamendi, Lemos and Smalling in central defence and Tom Heaton in goal. Masuaku throw in, finds Sanabria. He puts the ball in, Pinamonte arriving and first time straight at Jordan Pickford. Corner, Masuaku takes into Otamendi and he powers the header in at the near post to give us the lead. Masuaku's assist, he has been phenomenal this season but Otamendi has also been a rock in defence. Cresswell with the throw in, Everton yet to have a shot on target but they might hear Schneiderlin. Sends it across but intercepted by Andre, now Pinamonte can counter, he's got support to his left. He turns in that way, now Andre straight through to Sanabria, there's an extra ball onto Masuaku, it's saved onto the post. Heaton forward to Otamendi. Trying to find something to do with it. He dinks it forward. Misaku or Masuaku into Andre now. Gets him back forward to Perez. Sanabria finds Masuaku. Good position too at the back stick. He's looking for them. Cresswell heads it away. Carmona chases after it. He puts the cross in. Headed out by Carrico Schneidlin further on. But Andre trying to keep up the pressure here with the ball. Pushes it out to Masuaku once more. He gives it away. Coleman out. And this time Everton do get the ball. They are charging at us. It's Raul onto Sandro. He's forced out to the right. It comes to Coleman. Ball in. And Raul Jimenez does just touch it home for 1-1. Really poor defending from us. And we've thrown away our lead. Heaton. Out to Otamendi. Now Masuaku. Over to Andre. He switches a flank beautifully to Carmona. Plenty of players in the box to aim for. He puts it in and Pickford with a very comfortable catch. He can then try and relaunch Everton's momentum if he ever releases the ball. He does finally release it and it's a good header by us. Sanabria can play the ball on Pinamonte through to Gedson in a good position. He finds Perez and that's a woeful shot. Cresswell's throw in. Comes to Bufal. Cresswell over the top for Jimenez, but it's come for Andre. He then finds Sanabria. There's a ball through there, and he picks out Perez, and his first-time effort is just rubbish. Cresswell's free kick, good position for one. He sends it all the way over to Balassi. That's the weirdest free kick I think I've ever seen. Balassi skips by a tackle as if it never happened. It puts the cross in, and it's in from Raul Jimenez, who's turned this around for Everton, and suddenly we're behind. Sandro's ball in, Jimenez is in there, it's come out to Bufal, he has a strike, it's saved by Heaton. Everton really putting under pressure now, Bufal putting the corner in, it's come to Balassi, he's going to try and get a cross in, holds it up on the byline, picks out Bufal, he finds Sandro and he finds the bottom corner and for some reason we've completely capitulated. Carmona throws the ball into Pinamonte, Carmona again. Gives the ball away there, or nearly does. Pinamonte recovers. Now Grujic to Lemos. He's given the ball away. What is going on with our team? Jimenez charging down the left flank now. Got players over. McCarthy, one of them. He finds Sandro, and Heaton keeps us in the game. Cresswell with the throw in. Picks out Raul Jimenez. Finds McCarthy. Nobody pressing him, which is unlike us. Now Sandro. Out to Raul Jimenez. He's on a hat-trick. Gives it away to Carmona. Can we get a counter here? Pinamonte does just get there ahead of Cresswell. He finds Sanabria. Perez is over there. Surely going to waste a chance. Instead, he puts it in the bottom corner. And with just under 20 minutes to go, we found a route back in. Well, Atamendi's just been sent off. I was going to, about to make a substitution. I saw something happen. Came off. It's a second yellow for Otamendi. And surely that's the end of this game. I'm not even really sure what to do with the team here. I guess we're going to have to sacrifice Pinamonte, who's had a crap game. Um, I'm really annoyed at this result. I don't know why, but we're almost certainly going to lose it from here now that we're down to 10 men. And it just, given that we were 2-1 up and looking, or 1-0 up and looking comfortable, I don't understand 
how we've thrown this away so badly. But Pickford launches the ball forward. It does come down to Sanabria. He beats one defender. Can't beat the second, though. And the ball launched forward comes to Raul Jimenez in a good position. He's got a ball that he can put across. And nobody tries to intercept it. So Sandro just touches it home for his second. And Jimenez and Sandro have made our defence look like absolute chumps. Lasalle's two minutes or so of added time left. Now Andre onto Grujic. Ball given away. Still a hat-trick for Jimenez or Sandro if they can pick out the right ball. Schneidlin over to Sandro. Plays it to the right for Balassi. Now Barkley to Coleman. Balassi puts the cross in. Jimenez is in there. He's gone down. It's a penalty and there'll be a fight between Sandro and Jimenez for the hat-trick. It's Raul Jimenez that's going to get the chance from the spot for the hat-trick. He steps up and he scores it. So there's a hat trick for Raul Jimenez. Oh, I mean, I, I just do not understand what's happened today. It's been absolutely atrocious from the team. Well, there it is. All over 5 2. A humiliating defeat in the end there. Um, I'm really, really annoyed because I just don't understand what on earth happened to the team in that game. We looked so comfortable for the first half or so. Um, and then it just all fell apart when Raul Jimenez got the goal in the second half. I told the team not to get complacent at half-time. They all reacted really well to it and then became massively complacent, leading to a humiliating defeat. Um, Otamendi is going to be issued a warning just to try and keep the discipline down because he's the second player to be sent off for us this season. Nobody's been sent off against us. Um, but you can see now two defeats in our season and it's not going to get any easier away to Atletico Madrid. Well against Atletico Madrid we do have Otamendi available to us and he joins Holding and Lemos in defence. Heaton just behind them. Masawaku, Andre Fernandes and Carmona all keep their positions but I've shifted the front three around so that Sanabria now playing as a complete forward with Coutrone and Pinamonte either side of him in the hope that Pinamonte can rediscover his goal scoring form. Well, we kick off our first away Champions League game under my management. Otamendi sends the ball forward, but nothing comes of that. I'm hoping for a good result. I still really enjoy the Champions League in these sort of situations. It's the first time I've actually been in the Champions League on this version of the game because we've been progressing this series quite slowly. Masuaku, though, charging down the left flank for us. He puts the cross right to the back stick for Coutrone, who's gone down, and we've got a penalty this could be huge if we manage to score from here. It's Andre who's going to take it. If we can get an away goal lead against Atletico Madrid, who knows how well we can do. Andre steps up, and it's saved by Old Black. Andre now has missed his last two penalties, and he might need to come off them because that was too important. Lemos with the free kick. He's gone for goal. He's hit the crossbar. What on earth was that from Lemos? Oblak launches the ball a long way down the field. Otamendi's header. Son Hyung min picks it up. Now Vitolo over the top looking for Griezmann. They've got a very dangerous squad, this Atletico side. Got Diego Costa up front as well. Here's Gaia to Vitolo. Now Everton Ribeiro. Saul tries to push it wide, but Masuaku's intercepted. Pinamonte can play it through. Coutrone's in on goal. One on one with the keeper. Oh, and that's awful. Gaia sends the ball forward to Saul. Now Diego Costa, trying to look out right, he finds Son, now Saul, switches a flank to Vitolo, intercepted by Andre, Carmona lifting it up and high, Getson brings it down, finds Sanabria, he's fouled by Everton Ribeiro, not fouled, the referee says that's a fine tackle, Griezmann sprints past two players like they aren't even there, and finds Son who gives Atletico the lead, how is that not a foul? Everton Ribeiro with the free kick finds Son Hyung Min. He's going to strike it and he picks out the bottom corner. And Son is absolutely destroying us now. Griezmann puts the ball in, but he's unable to claim it. Not seen anything that makes me think we've got a revival coming. Here's Heaton out to Otamendi. Holding back to Heaton. Now Lemos finds Carmona. Ball into Gedson. Carmona over the top, Coutrone's on side, I think. He's got to that ball as well. He puts it in, Sanabria. How is he not finishing? Why are we not scoring goals at the moment? Lemos switches the flank to Masuaku. He's tackled by Son. 
Costa over the top and Vieto's in behind. He beats a defender in on goal and he's just flashed it wide. Masuaku, now Pinamonte, switches it to the right for Gedson. He finds Drinkwater. Now Grujic, back to Drinkwater. Ball out to Masuaku. Puts the cross in, Kutron arriving, and he does get us an away goal. It's 2-1, and we've got seven minutes to try and find an equaliser. Masuaku's free kick, last minute of added time. It's Sanabria. Tries to send it right. He should have had a shot there. It was past the 94th minute, but it does finish 2-1. At least we have the away goal. Um, uh, yeah, let's go for that one. Um... At least we have that away goal because it means if it does come down to a head-to-head -head with Atletico Madrid, if we beat them at home and keep that clean sheet, then we will go above them. But at the moment, we're still ahead of Monaco, um, both on goal difference and the head-to-head. -head, and we've got a game against Ajax next, which hopefully we'll be able to get the win in. The final game of today's episode is a big one. It's the derby with Middlesbrough. We are at home. We should be getting a win. We need a win after two straight defeats. The first time we've lost back-to-back -back games this season. It's all blue and red. Uh, sorry, green and red at the moment. Uh, no draws in there up to now. I'd like that to stay the case with a win today. Um, we're not doing too badly in the league. We've dropped down to sixth place, so we need a win to catch up with the likes of West Ham and Man City at the top of the table. Um, and really, we should be beating Middlesbrough, who are down in the relegation places. Now, we've got Pinamonte, Sanabria, and Coutron up front. Keane will be back after the international break. Andre and Fernandez in midfield. Masuaku, Lemos, Holding, Smalling, and Carmona in defence, with Otamendi suspended. And Heaton in goal. Randolph sends the ball forward. First chance of the game has come, and it's nearly half time. Sanabria can't keep it. Here's Nasri. Four sure out wide to Harrison. He comes in, finds Sinclair on the other flank, and there's a lot of room here for Novak. He puts it in. Andre wins it. Here's Coutron into the middle for Sanabria. There's a run being made by Pinamonte, who gets the ball. He looks for Gedson. Plenty of players to aim at. He looks for Pinamonte. It's Masuaku at the back stick who puts it home, and we do have the lead. Pinamonte has been credited with the assist, so he must have headed it down, but Masuaku just cannot stop scoring. For sure. A lot of room out left for Sinclair, who takes a step in, still going Sinclair, pulls it across, and it's been touched in by Rob Holding. Terrible defensive mistake, and Middlesbrough out of nothing, a back level. Nasri, on to Sinclair. For sure. Ball finds its way to Harrison. Now Dong Wan puts it out wide to Sinclair again. His cross is claimed by Heaton. I was a little bit worried there might be another own goal then. Uh, Smalling, now it's Lemos, he finds Masuaku, can he do us some more magic down the left, he goes back instead, Lemos switching the ball beautifully to Carmona, ball in behind, Coutron's there, and he should have passed it instead of striking it, he had a free man in the middle, but was selfish, and the chance goes begging, Novak, now Housen, ball to Smith, Puts it inside, but Coutrone wins it. Now Pinamonte, can we counter well? It's Sanabria. He's got an ocean of room ahead of him. He goes for goal, and he's put it wide. How are you not hitting the target one-on-one -on -one with the keeper? Fry, now Sinclair. For sure, giving away to Andre. Sanabria has been released again. He's in behind, and he's just tried to chip Randolph, but instead has gifted him the ball. Smalling, now holding. Smalling again, pushes it out wide to Lemos. Andre, only 15 minutes left, Sanabria tries to play it over the top and Coutron brings it down, he's in on goal, it's saved by Randolph. Just 5 minutes left, you can see how much we've dominated this game in the stats and it just looks like it's going to be one of those episodes today. Unless we score in the last minute here, it's all going to be a completely waste of time. Drinkwater's corner, last chance saloon, goes into the middle and there's a free kick for Middlesbrough and that's it, it's full time. That's so frustrating to concede to an own goal. They had one shot on target in the whole game. I'm going to tell the team they're unlucky, but that's three games without a win. It's going to really hit our league standing. And Middlesbrough, a team we should be beating every single time. Absolutely really annoyed about this episode. I have no idea what's gone wrong. But it means we're still in fourth place for now at least. Everton, Stoke and Arsenal can all go above us. Even Spurs may actually go above us as well. Um... 
But, oh, I mean, it's very tight at the top. That's our one saving grace. And West Ham will not be in that position for too much longer. But Man City can move five points clear of us if they win. It's the top four we're focusing on, though. So it's not the end of the world just yet. But we need to recover in the next episode. But do drop a like on the video if you enjoy seeing us lose as well as win. Um, make sure to subscribe if you want to see the rest of this series. Uh, you can also check out the website, Twitter, and Patreon using the link in the description. But until next time, see ya.